Hey y'all, how's it going? I'm over here in a undisclosed location because on one of them type of loads. But anyways, we got that one uh, Jacksonville delivered on uh, Tuesday. It went pretty good. It went over there to Eagle Logistics, I think it is. It uh, goes over to Puerto Rico, all that stuff. They were kind of a pain, you know. It was one of those busy ass places that takes forever. And we could jump through a bunch of hoops. You know, go over here. Okay, now go by the pond and wait. Okay, now come over here and go in the door. Oh, we don't want you in that door. No, go to this door. Okay, switch doors and it's busy, so you just sit back a bunch of time going in the door. Now you gotta switch doors. And then they go, oh, okay. Now you're unloaded, get out of the door. Go back over by the pond and wait for your paperwork. And go, and then walk all the way back and get your paperwork. That kind of deal, you know, we've all been there. Anyway, so we got that one done and then we went up to, I think it's Alta, Alta Georgia, something like that, and we got blueberries. Uh, it took them like six hours to load the blueberries. They were supposed to load them. Like we got there at five. We were supposed to be there by five. We got there right a little bit before five. But anyway, it took them till midnight to load it. So it made us late to our next two stops. But we got it done. We got up to, uh, we delivered one to, uh, oh, what's that place over there by uh, Charlotte? Dole by Charlotte. Town starts with a B. I can't remember. Then the next stop we took up to Springfield, Ohio and delivered it to Dole up there. Took them six hours to unload it. So the blueberries turned into a pain in the rear, but they they pay pretty good, real good for coming out of there. So and then I got a real good one. The next one I'm on is real good. It's uh, $4 a mile for one pallet. So you can't beat that. But anyway, me and LaShawn are still riding together it's going all right there's a few kinks in the armor but we're gonna try to work through them i don't know you trainees need to realize that you're, you're entitled to things on the truck like a clean truck and not being talked down to not being disrespected not having piss jugs rolling around on the floor not being yelled at what you're not entitled to is to tell the trainer how to run his truck and to count every hour he drives against every hour you drive. What he drives has nothing to do with what you drive. Most trainers aren't taking advantage of you, they're just running their truck. And you're not entitled to tell him where to go, and how far to run, and what loads to take. He's gonna take wherever makes it profitable to run his business I mean he can't just take short runs all the time but you can't dictate where he rolls either but anyway that's about all I got for now I'm over here and there's a guy walking over here and I get kind of embarrassed I'm not used to it yet so I kind of want to get off here because he's looking at me <laughs> but Anyway, it's a nice out here. It's a pretty view around out here. A little pond back here. But that's about all I got for today. I'll get back with you. Tell you where I am next. Since I can't tell you what I'm doing now. But y'all take care. Everyone be nice. And y'all have a good one. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.